Hi guys, you're still with SS Amazing World today. Today we are going to talk about the world of plants monocotyledons the first episode of Dragon's Blood Tree. If you still do not subscribe to the video, just subscribe us right now. Let's go to the video. The Dragon Blood Tree or Socotra Dragon Tree, Dracaena cinnaberry, is a dragon tree native to the Socotra archipelago in the Indian Ocean. LT is so called due to the red sap that the trees produce. The dragon blood tree is the most famous and distinctive plant of the island of Socotra. It has a unique and strange appearance described as upturned, densely packed crown having the shape of an uprightly held umbrella. Its fruits are small fleshy berries containing between one and three seeds. As they develop they turn from green to black and then become orange once they are ripe. The berries are eaten by birds and thereby dispersed. The seeds are between 4 mm and 5 mm in diameter and weigh on average 68 mg. The berries exude a deep red resin, known as dragon's blood. Like other monocotyledons, such as palms, the dragon's blood tree grows from the tip of the stem, with the long, stiff leaves borne in dense rosettes at the end, 4, 5, and 7. It branches at maturity to produce an umbrella-shaped crown, with leaves that measure up to 60 cm long and 3 cm wide. Dragon's blood is used as a stimulant and abortifacient. The root yields a gum resin, used in gargle water as a stimulant, astringent and in toothpaste. The root is used in rheumatism, the leaves are a carmine native. The trees can be harvested for their crimson red resin, called dragon's blood which was highly prized in the ancient world and is still used today. Around the Mediterranean basin it is used as a dye and as a medicine, Soko trans use it ornamentally as well as dyeing wool, gluing pottery, a breath freshener and lipstick. The local inhabitants of the city in the Socotra island use the dragon's blood resin as a cure-all. They use it in general wound healing, as a coagulant, cure for diarrhea, for dysentery diseases, for lowering fevers. It is also taken for ulcers in the mouth, throat, intestines, and stomach. Alright, guys, this video is over here. Try the video if you like. Comment below your idea of the video. Also, subscribe to our channel without forgetting. Then click on the bell icon and bring it to you as soon as we put in video. We'll meet you in another video. Thank you.